One of the biggest problems with people switching from semaglutide or terzepatide to retitrutide is they feel like their appetite isn't nearly as suppressed as it was. Then they get frustrated because the scale starts moving in the wrong direction and they don't know why. And one thing I don't think very many people realize is that retitrutide is actually the weakest at suppressing your appetite out of all three of these. And believe it or not, that was on purpose. The engineers had to sacrifice appetite suppression strength to add something even more powerful. Let me explain. Semaglutide activates one receptor, GLP-1, and all of its weight loss comes from making you want to eat less and feel full for longer. Terzepatide adds one more, the GIP receptor. GIP improves how your body processes fat. And believe it or not, in clinical studies, appetite suppression was about the same as semaglutide, but the weight loss was much higher. And that extra weight loss came from better fat metabolism, not less hunger. Now, retitrutide activates three receptors, GLP-1, GIP, and glucagon. But when you design one molecule to activate three different receptors, you can't maximize all of them. So they made retitrutide about nine times more potent at GIP, but only 40% as potent at GLP-1. That's why your hunger feels stronger on retitrutide. But here's what you have to realize. The glucagon activation is what makes retitrutide so powerful. Glucagon tells your liver to burn stored fat. Your liver turns into this furnace where you're constantly burning calories, even at rest. But you can't feel any of that happening. Hunger is a sensation. Liver fat oxidation is not. So when people measure how well retitrutide is working based on how hungry they feel, they're selling it short. You may not know this, but in clinical trials, retitrutide reduced liver fat by over 80%. Blood pressure dropped, LDL dropped, triglycerides dropped, insulin sensitivity improved, all from receptor activation that you can't feel. So if your goal is fat loss and metabolic optimization, my advice is throw the semaglutide and the terzepatide in the trash and get on retitrutide. And if you feel hungrier, just start practicing a little bit of self-control. Because when you combine retitrutide with exercise and a high-protein diet, the transformation is unlike anything you'll experience on semaglutide or terzepatide. You just have to be willing to do your part. Now, if you're looking for help with dosing, protocols, and safe sourcing, I'd like to invite you to my free community where I offer help to everybody just like this. All you have to do is just comment the word school with a K below this video, and I'll send you a link to join for absolutely free. I hope this was valuable for you, and I'll see you on the next one.